Hi guys, uh, time for another one of my bargain store projects. Uh, I think this would be number 19. What I'm going to do is use, I've got two options here, one of these two, both are magnetically operated circuits. Uh, this one, LED auto light, turns on when doors or drawers are opened and off when closed. Very simply there's a reed switch in there and a magnet. When the magnet's next to it the switch is open. When the magnet's moved away from it the switch is closed so that turns the LED on that's in there. This one I haven't taken apart before but I assume it's working on the same principle. Um, again when the magnet's close by, the circuit is open. When the magnet moves away, the circuit's closed, and in this case, an alarm goes off. It's a door and window alarm. I used one of these in a project a while back, um, but I didn't actually take it apart, so I may take it apart this time and see how it's put together. In fact, thinking about that, I think that's what I'll do. I'll use that one rather than that one unless when I take it apart I come across a problem. And what I'm going to use them for, or use the reed switch for, is to improve this. I uh, did a little project the other day. Very simply, this is a rocking flower. It's based on those solar movers that you see in the shops where you get a flip-flap flower uh, rocking, or a little uh, figure of some sort or other rocking around. Very simply we've got a big coil underneath. When the power goes through it it becomes magnetic. It repels this magnet on the bottom here and as the magnet moves away the circuit is broken, the coil collapses, the magnet falls back again, the circuit is closed again, repels the magnet so it basically oscillates. On this one I did it in a very simple way all I've got is a dog leg here. Um, the power comes down the dog leg. When it touches this wire, it makes contact, current flows, repels the magnet. As it moves away, instantly that breaks contact, so it falls back again and makes contact again, repels, and so on. So it oscillates like that. And the idea is I'll see if I can replace that with one of those reed switches. Right, first thing to do is take this one apart. I've got handy on off switch, so that's a good start. Although I don't think I'll be using those batteries to power my coil. Crosshead screw in there, so let's see if we can take that apart. That's nice, that's come apart nice and easy. I rather like the look of that. That is beautiful. We've got a proper little reed switch in there in a glass tube and an on off switch. That's um we call it inductor. I can't remember what you call it because it's funny enough I saw one on YouTube the other day being described but never mind because we don't actually want any of those bits for now. Don't even want the white blob. That's unusual. They're usually black blobs. All we want today is that little reed switch. And that looks like that's even nice and easily soldered so I can unsolder it and position it wherever I want it. Right, just to demonstrate that little reed switch working, I've just connected my meter either side of the switch. I've got a neodymium magnet in my hand which I'm keeping hold of because it all gets attracted quite easily. But if you watch my meter, there you 
you go. Uh, you will notice that my meter is not correctly zeroed. So we're actually going to something like 1.2 ohms when we should be showing zero. Right, there's our little reed switch desoldered from the alarm. So uh, we'll see if we can insert that in our circuit somewhere. Right, I've done nothing to the coil. I've just added a 9 volt battery as the power supply. And I've got my reed switch on a floating bit of wire that I can position. Until I get the right reaction from it. And there we go. That was pretty simple, wasn't it? I've got my reed relay on the end of this um, popsicle stick, I believe Americans call it. Lollipop stick, I'd call it. I've got it like that so that I don't get in the way of it and I can move it in and out to find the ideal position. You can see there as soon as it makes. <laughs> so what we want is the best position. Well, there we go. That's my rocking flower, now activated by a little reed switch. Let's just pull back a little bit so we can see the flower moving. Nice and gentle. So quick recap. The relay, not relay, the reed switch has come out of this little um, door or window alarm. Just taking it straight off the circuit there. That was from the two-pack door and window alarm. The coil of wire underneath it is a 10 meter stereo speaker wire coil. That came from one of my pound stores. Um, I've got a 9 volt battery. I've actually hot glued the reed switch onto the end of a lollipop stick, as I would call it, popsicle stick. I've done that because I've actually broken one of these little reed switches just by pressing on it too hard with my fingers because it's a little glass encapsulated thing. So rather than risk me damaging it again, I've glued it on the end of that stick so that I can um, move it. So there we go. That's interesting. So oh, I just think the battery's running down a bit now. With a decent power supply going through it. We're really going for it now. <laughs> That's sticking my mains driven. 9 volt DC supply through it. So there's a bit more current flowing through there now. Probably blow up the reed switch. Too much current. <laughs> 
too much power. It does demonstrate the principle. Also proves that my batteries are pretty well flat. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> 